Hello everyone. Today we are going to start the asexual reproduction in detail. We have already covered the introduction part in last class. Okay. So first we have to understand what is asexual reproduction. So the reproduction in which okay only one parent is responsible. Okay. Or as this reproduction does not involve union of two different gametes. Okay. The new organism has exact genetic similarities with their parents. Okay, because same DNA is going to copy in order to form the next generation. That's why the new generation and the their parental generation are identical to each other. Okay, so here we can say that the reproduction in which okay or the process of formation of new organism of same species. without involvement of gametes is called as asexual reproduction is called as asexual reproduction this is the uniparental uni means one beta uni means one and parental means only one parent is required for the reproduction and it occurs by mitotic type of cell division you know the mitosis m i t o s i s mitosis type of cell division it completes in four stages one is called as ana uh, prophase then we have metaphase then we have anaphase and last but not the least we had telophase okay so these are the four stages where mitosis type of cell division takes place so in asexual reproduction the cell division takes place which is type of mitosis in which the chromosome number will remain same okay chromosome number will remain same 2n will give you 2n only okay next the absence of genetic recombination takes place because only one parent is responsible for the formation of new organism so here there is no genetic variation takes place because in sexual reproduction we will understand later on where two different parent like one is male and other another will be female are responsible for the formation of new organism so there each parent contributes 50% character 50% character from each from male as well as from female is it that's why organism produced by sexual reproduction have variations differences but in a sexual reproduction only one parent is responsible that means 100% of character are being transmitted from parent to their offspring offspring means the new generation okay everyone that's why in a sexual reproduction there is very similarity or we can say they are identical to their parents now we are going to understand about the different types of sexual oh sorry asexual reproduction so first we have in asexual reproduction type first we have beta binary fission okay binary fission so the binary fission in which a single parent cell divides by mitosis type of cell division to form two daughter cell to form two daughter cell this is called as binary fission by means two okay fission means division okay so the the cell division or a sexual reproduction in which a single parent cell divide to form two cell is called as binary fission it takes place in dif differently in different organism if we will discuss about amoeba in amoeba sing, uh, simple binary fission takes place simple binary fission takes place in amoeba beta what is simple binary fission means the binary fission which can be takes place from any plane of the parent cell from that plane or that plane or here from here or any plane that's why it is also called as irregular binary fission ir regular binary fission we have two names for that irregular means from any plane or it is also called as simple binary fission there is no specific plane by which amoeba cell will reproduce so this is called as beta simple binary fission in case of paramecium 
paramecium always going to divide divide transversely from that plane only see here is it so the reproduction or the binary fission in which the parent cell divide transversely this is the transversal binary fission okay so the reproduction or uh, asexual reproduction in which the parent cell divides from the transversal plane to form two daughter cell is called as or are called as transversal binary fission then we have longitudinal binary fission in longitudinal binary fission okay the cell divide the parent cell divides longitudinally like this this is the longitudinal plane okay so see you can uh, observe in diagram over here the euglena divides longitudinally okay so the reproduction or asexual reproduction in which the parent cell divide through the longitudinal plane okay is called as longitudinal binary fission okay everyone so longitudinal binary fission takes place in euglena transversal binary fission takes place in paramecium and simple binary fission takes place in amoeba so i want everyone had to take a screenshot for that the first screenshot here okay sir hey my call up done beta everyone yes sir done sir yes sir done. okay yes sir done and uh, second here so here we have completed the binary fission someone is in waiting room wait a second kritika okay so this is the all this is all about binary fission okay now we are going to understand about the multiple fission okay so multiple fission generally takes place in amoeba as well as in plasmodium as well as in plasmodium okay so asexual reproduction by the multiple fission is performed by amoeba and other similar protist okay like plasmodium amoeba stop c during the uh, multiple fission generally it takes place in adverse condition when there is no ideal or suitable condition present around the protist that time organism they used to reprodu reproduce by the multiple fission okay so during the multiple fission amoeba stops formation of pseudopodia as you can see here this other pseudopodia okay this other pseudopodia which is formed for the movement of amoeba okay so during the multiple fission amoeba stops making pseudopodia and thereby movement also if it is you know making pseudopodia for the movement and for the search of food okay it stops making pseudopodia that means it becomes stationary it becomes stationary there is when it takes place when it takes place when there is a lack of food or any other adverse condition very important amoeba reproduce by multiple fission when there is a lack or scarcity of food and if there is any other adverse condition that time amoeba used to reproduce by the multiple fission it is the conditional one so just do remember very important then amoeba becomes round amoeba becomes round as you can see here amoeba has become round here after that what happens and it forms the protective covering around the plasma membrane so it is then covered by the hard covering as you can see here the blue one this is the hard covering okay that hard covering is called as cyst it is called as beta cyst such in cyst amoeba or any other protist is called as beta cyst so when a protective covering formed around the plasma membrane of amoeba or plasma or plasmodium it is called as beta cyst then inside the cyst multiple nuclear division takes place multiple means the repeated nuclear division takes place inside the cyst 
and many daughter nuclei are formed as you can see in that diagram okay there are many daughter nuclei are formed they remain incest till there is a adverse condition so if adverse condition is for long period so that particular period amoeba or plasmodium or any other protist will remain inside the cyst only and when favorable condition come okay or during the arrival of favorable condition each nuclei then develop into the daughter amoeba then that cyst burst and after bursting that cyst daughter amoeba oozed out or releasing into the surrounding and they takes individual existence this is the way how amoeba and plasmodium reproduce by multiple fission understood everyone yes sir. yes sir i'll take a screenshot for multiple fission very important take a screenshot sir okay so just do remember multiple fission takes place in plasmodium as well as in amoeba okay now next type of asexual reproduction is called as budding so now we will understand budding in unicellular organism called yeast cell it is a fungus okay so you will see okay suppose uh, here one activity is given so bring a active dry yeast powder it is available in market generally in baker shop take 50 ml of lukewarm water means the warm water in the conical flask flask add 5 g of active yeast powder there okay and 10 g of sugar to provide nutrient medium okay and mix water and uh, mix them well and keep the flask in warm place of like for few hours okay and then take a drop of that mixture on the clean glass slide and put a cover slip on that and observe under the compound microscope you will find such kind of structure there you will find such kind of structure so you can see here this is the yeast cell and here the budding is formed during budding that nucleus divides which is the karyokinosis and the small or the daughter nuclei then reaches to that bud and that bud develop into the daughter yeast cell okay so this is the way how yeast reproduce so let understand from the theory sir just a minute yeah. sir for making the yeast active we have to put a bit of sugar water in first yes right? nutrient medium yes beta yeah. and in warm place because in order to reproduce it will require more energy and glucose if present there okay it will absorb glucose from them uh, glucose from the solution and will uh, get energy for the reproduction okay so it the reproduction produce alcohol right ha beta yes 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 yeah. it what happen generally yeast uh, grows in anaerobic process anaerobic respiration it performs anaerobic respiration and during the anaerobic respiration it converts sugar into ethyl alcohol okay it converts ethyl alcohol sugar into ethyl alcohol okay yes, okay yeah. yeah so you will see the yeast cell performing budding in the diagram the small bud coming out from the many parent cell in that particular activity a sexual reproduction occurs by the budding in yeast see yeast is the unicellular organism or the fungus okay this is also called as baker's yeast baker's yeast because in bakery industries yeast powder is being used for making bread and any other spongy food yeast cell produce two daughter nuclei okay by the mitotic division so one nucleus divide to form two daughter nuclei and one of the nuclei then reaches to that particular new bud okay okay this yeast cell is called as beta parent cell so that one is called as parent yeast cell okay and here that is called as daughter yeast cell 
the small bulge appear on the surface of the parent cell this bulge is actually a bud okay that bulge part as you can see here this is nothing but the bud okay this is the bud one of the two daughter nuclei enters inside the bud after sufficient growth bud separated and detached from the parent cell and start live independently so it takes individual existence when it becomes enough mature okay it releases or detaches from the parent cell and takes individual existence as a daughter ish cell okay everyone this is the budding type of a sexual reproduction takes place in yeast cell again take a screenshot here done yes sir sure yes sir now we are going to understand about the next type of reproduction which is the fragmentation fragmentation it is also a sexual type of reproduction but in multicellular organism so whatever the kind of reproduction just we have gone through all are for a sexual reproduction in unicellular organism but now we are going to understand a sexual reproduction in multicellular organism so this is the type of a sexual reproduction occurs in multicellular organism in this type of reproduction the body of parent organism breaks up into many fragment and then each as you can see here we have the parent hydro uh, spirogyra and accidentally or maybe the current of water it breaks into the fragments like this many fragments are there we have represented here only two but many fragments are being formed because the body of spirogyra is thread like the green thread like structure okay and that thread like body of the spirogyra breaks down into many small fragments like this and each fragments then develops into the individual spirogyra okay and start live as a independent new organism this is called as reproduction occurs this type of reproduction takes place in algae called spirogyra and sponge like cycon so it takes place in spirogyra as well as in cycon very important just to remember both the example spirogyra and cycon whenever there is plenty of water and nutrients are available spirogyra its filament grow up very fast and breaks into many small fragment and each small fragment start to live independently as a new spirogyra fiber okay and if the body of cycon breaks up accidentally into many fragment each fragment develop into the new cycon okay everyone so this is the type of reproduction takes place in spirogyra and cycon called fragmentation take a screenshot everyone again next type of asexual reproduction is regeneration again this type of reproduction takes place in multicellular organism so you may know that wall lizard okay breaks up and discarded some part of its tail is in emergency okay the discarded part is regenerated after a period of time means after few days if you will see the same lizard suppose this is the lizard tail part okay okay i have not drawn here the full lizard okay this is the wall lizard suppose okay here the paws the claws here okay so this is the tail and here if you will find if suppose you are like maybe due to accident or many some other reason that part if breaks down so the new part here starts growing after few days have you observed that so why does this takes place because on the tail region the wall lizard contain a regenerative cell regenerative cell but here we are understanding lizard example in order to understand the regeneration what is regeneration we are not going to understand here the reproduction okay because the the 
part that other part of the tail is not going to reproduce lizard it is going to produce no na that tail from here new organism will produce or not no na in case of lizard everyone do reply yes 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 sir no from the tail that which is broke up from the lizard which is not going to grow only from the lizard no, that the tail will regrow tail will yes. regrow back yes, back only. the tail yes. Is, yes. the previous tail will just die yes yes okay but in case of planaria okay so this is only to understand what is regeneration okay so this is an example of limited generation so in case of wall lizard this is called as limited regeneration so sir like only lizards have the ability to regenerate or there are other animals also which have the uh, see yes they do not uh, like all the organism have capacity to regenerate but in a wound healing and if there is wearing and tearing takes place in our body then only you know in wound healing regenerative cells are present there they used to heal the wound okay so this is only to heal or the repair and maintaining part only okay but in wall lizard whole like uh, tail part or we can say the organ is being reproduced here but not the whole organism sir, sir but sir in octopus uh, it also yes, in starfish octopus. and octopus yes 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 it takes place you are going to understand that here okay but so this is called a beta limited regeneration only limited regeneration but okay however under a certain condition okay an animal called planaria breaks up into sometimes starfish also breaks up into the two part or three part and then each part regenerates the remaining part of the body and thus two or three spiro no no planaria are being formed this is called as regeneration so in diagram as you can see here we have the planaria this is the head region this is the body region and this is the tail region so due to accident or maybe some other reason if its body breaks into three part okay so here we have the head region head region will going to like regenerate whole part like body and tail also as you can see here we have the whole planaria the tail part here we have the tail part okay so tail part will regenerate to form whole body of the planaria here we have the body part so body part will regenerate to form head and tail and will enamiate enamiate whole body of the organism okay so this is the way we have now three new planaria one here two and here we have the three from one we have three planaria now so this is the kind of asexual reproduction takes place in planaria starfish okay called regeneration again take a screenshot for regeneration take a sir screenshot answer okay so now we are going to understand about the budding okay budding we have gone through here for unicellular organism in yeast and now here we are going to understand again budding in multicellular organism called hydra okay so what happens generally when hydra becomes mature becomes mature and get full with nutrition full with nutrition okay then hydra starts reproducing by budding okay see here in the body of the amoeb like hydra one part on the stem part okay it bulge out and that bulge out part develops into the bud and from bud the nascent or the small hydra is being formed and once that small hydra or the daughter hydra or you can say nascent hydra uh, like became in like uh, sufficient or grow sufficiently so that it can take individual existence so it detaches from the parent hydra and takes individual existence okay so this is the budding called a uh, budding type of asexual reproduction takes place in hydra so in case of hydra under the favorable condition 
okay at a specific part of its body and outgrowth of the outgrowth is formed okay due to the repeated cell division takes place by the regenerative to cell on the body of the wall this outgrowth is called as beta bud okay that outgrowth is called as bud bud grows up progressively and finally forms a small hydra see it forms the small hydra over here it is called as nascent hydra the dermal layer and digestive cavity of the budding hydra are in continuity with those of the parent hydra because that particular time when it is attached with the parent hydra it is not performing nutrient and other kind of activity that's why the nutrition are being supplied to nascent hydra from the parent hydra only that's why their digestive cavity as well as the dermal layer are in contact with each other parent hydra supplies nutrition to the budding hydra budding hydra separates from the parent hydra and start to lead an independent life when it grows up and becomes able to lead independent life it detaches from the parent hydra and takes individual existence so this is the budding type of reproduction takes place in hydra understood everyone yes sir yes again take a screenshot for budding done sir okay now we are going to understand about the vegetative propagation and it is the very important which takes place in plants okay so when the reproduction in plants with the help of vegetative parts like root stem leaf and other buds okay is called as vegetative propagation vegetative propagation in potatoes now we are going to understand in case of potatoes it is the performed with the help of eyes okay he performed re reproduction with the help of eyes present on the uh potatoes as you can see these are the eyes beta okay and from eyes new organisms are been reproduced okay present on the tuber whereas the bryophyllum in bryophyllum this is the bryophyllum leaf so the like on the marginal region as you can see here birds are present on and from these birds new organisms or new plants are being germinated as you can see here and each plant then takes individual existence in surrounding okay leaf margin in case of plant like sugarcane and grasses vegetative propagation occurs with the help of bud present on the nodes of the stem okay so plant like carrot and radish perform vegetative propagation with the help of roots so see here carrot okay uh, samarth yeah yeah here we have carrot radish they are nothing but the tube roots yeah okay yeah so again just take a screenshot for vegetative propagation example it takes place in sweet potato bryophyllum potato etc sugar cane also sir here uh, that radish and carrot are and yes, yes. roots right Yes, yes, yes. And so here we have the sugar cane. This is the sugar cane. Okay. So, so on sugar cane stem, yes, here the birds are present on the nodal region, and from this nodal region, the birds used to reproduce the new or the baby sugar cane plant. Okay. Yeah. Now next, the spore formation. It is again very important, and this is the last. but not the least or sexual reproduction so it takes place in uh, generally take a piece of wet bread or bhakri the chapati okay and keep it in humid place for like few hour or few days two to three days okay so fungus will grow on it observe the fungus under the compound microscope and draw its diagram so you will draw the diagram like this these are called as beta rhizoid and that is part which is moving all over the bread is called as hyphae okay and here they are called as beta sporangium okay 
so the fungi like mucor so this is the structure of mucor okay have filament body filamentous means the thread like they have sporangia so this is called as sporangia or sporangium once the spore are formed so inside the sporangium spores are formed spores are formed and once the spore are formed sporangia burst and spores are released into the atmosphere and they spread here and there spores germinates on the moist and warm places and new fungal colonies is formed there okay so this is called as beta spore formation called a sexual type of reproduction takes place in mucor or molds understood everyone yes so take a screenshot yes, and sir. here we have completed the asexual type of reproduction